Okay, uh, well, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a magnetically tunable uh, ballon or anun. Um, so, as you can see here, all right, um, what I'm running right now is essentially a dipole, except I've got one leg just lying on the ground, and I'm and one leg just going up a tree. Um, I think it's about what three and a half meters per element, which is very short for the 40 meter band. I got the IC705 here running at uh, 5 watts, right? So, as you can see, it's uh, radiating quite nicely, okay? Now, um, you could put the dipole up in the air or and retune it, or you know, have just one side going to ground and use it as a vertical, however you want. What I want to show is, how, I will show exactly how to build this, but you can see I've got a uh, couple of bifiler pancake coils and a ferrite core and some magnets, okay? Now, I can't show it all at once, but I'm gonna slide this magnet up and down But while you watch the SWR meter, okay? You can see the meter showing the SWR. I'll just um, start sliding. I'll wait for it to come back now. And you can see I've now detuned, okay? What I'm demonstrating is the tunability of this system, okay? Now I've returned. Now these are fairly strong magnets. The uh, strength of the magnets is going to depend on, you know, the element length, value of your coil, and the core type, okay? <laughs> I'm just showing you the basic working principle. Um, just one sec, let's see. Uh, I'm not sure with this one if, if I can get this in at 80. I'll try. I'll go AM and just try and tune by ear. Um, let's see. So I'm going to need more inductance. So I'll probably back these off a bit. I'll quickly check. Okay, I will remove a magnet. Yeah, hear the noise pick up. Let's see. Oh yeah, getting there. Remove another magnet. Whoops, <laughs> don't want to lose them. And, uh, oh yeah, not too bad. All right, so maybe this is just not quite right, this setup right now. I'll try, I'll now put the magnets on and turn them. That might, who knows, I might be lucky. Oh, there you go. Right, so, <laughs> okay. Now, these magnets, the flat square side is their pole, so north-south. So another thing is, when you rotate them, once you get somewhere in the right range, you can rotate to tune, okay? Because, oops, see, that's... Uh, Obviously that's going straight in its pole now and it's getting ducted through. So it's saturating. Just one sec, right? I will show you how to build this, so stay with me. It's actually really cool. Um, I've got these twisted wrong. I'm terrible at videos, aren't I? Okay, I've straightened them out. <laughs> Bit of a, a leaf there, hey? Now, so when we put the magnet on, I'm, I'm bringing it close. I mean, you can, oh, it keeps try, trying to flip. Oh, you little bugger. <laughs> It's, it's not playing nicely now. So, uh, it's much easier with two hands, trust me. Right. So, but the idea is, as you turn, so for example, if the flat side is the north and south poles, as you can imagine, the torus is going through the conductor, but as we swing the north and south off to the sides, less is going through the core. And uh, so that's how we can adjust Whoops, ah, this is really um, not playing nice, but I'll try to tune by ear again. It's much easier with two hands. But I'm just trying to get this idea out there. So, okay, so I've not got that right yet. I'll move it a bit further away. Ah, yeah, it sounds getting a bit closer there, let's see. Ah, oh, yes. Right. So now that's 80 meters. I'll just uh, send the beacon. That's 5 watts, of course. I see 705. Okay, so you get the idea. Now I'll show you how to actually make one. Okay, so you uh, get your speaker cable and you spread 
the black and white or red and <laughs> red and white, uh, bl red and black wires apart, okay? And you run one of them out this way and one of them out this way. And then you start winding outward, all right? And in a conical sense, see that because it's a figure eight cable allowing let's say you know the bulge of one to sit in the recess of the previous one that way it's really snug and increases the dielectric inductance or distributed capacitance of the system all right now so once you've spiraled out in this case it's six turns i've spiraled out six turns i then go back to the middle okay with the continuous speaker cable and in the same direction wind out another six turns it is a bit tricky starting that wind because it's got the wire coming in and then trying to go on top of it right but you'll get there okay now the uh, the thing is uh the i forgot to mention when you first start before you start winding split your red and black or your black and white wires so one's going one way and one's going the other because the start of the first coil will be one conductor for antenna and one conductor for transmitter okay so you wind out six turns jump back to the middle and then wind out six turns and again the far at the end as you see it's going in both directions all right so it's not that we've got the antenna coming in on the twin wire winding out six turns coming in winding out six turns and then coming out to the transmitter it's not that way we have to flip one around so we have we start at the middle we split two wires off each way so we've already got them and then we start winding over those where it's split six turns we come in to the middle and then start winding out again and then we split the result both ways so now we have the start of the very beginning of the twin wire one wire going this way one wire going this way and the very end of the twin wire one wire going this way and one wire going this way and of course you still have to make sure that at each end you, let's say here you've got your black and your white and here you've got your black and your white so just to try and get that properly in your head if you imagine um, looking from the transmitter perspective okay so we've come in here the uh, active is connecting on in this case what what color have I got I can't see this now Hang on. yeah so I'm on my white wire here right it's hard for me to see which way this went so that white wire is actually coming from the very beginning of this coil see this is the black one coming out this way so it's split off the very beginning of this coil splits in two directions black this way and white out this way we wind out six turns jump to the middle wind out six turns and then we split the final outcome of that coil into the two directions as well making sure that at each end we have one black one white or one <laughs> black one red and that's how to do it now instead of using magnets of course you could slide a, a ferrite core in and out to change the value but i find it much more efficient using magnets it takes a bit of fiddling to get the right range of course you change your element lengths or like uh this is lying on the ground if i had it in the air it's going to change its tune have to retune it um and of course if you go for a full size like uh you know two quarter wave elements then you're not going to need this are you <laughs> All right um so uh, this is, of course, impedance matching the mismatch. But uh, it's extremely efficient, and I really hope that uh, you give it a go. 7-3, and thanks for watching.